trying to reach the town. This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Very good, Chris Bell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done, Chris Bell, but I'm afraid our work is not done here. Where are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. There. It's too less of them. They're chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Ooh! <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Galley, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know... I just wanna play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy! <laughs> oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them! Even a scratch? Can't take much more of this. Crisbell, it is time! Use the crystals! The crystals? Chris Bell! I... 
Better not keep her waiting. Finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Go on now, and be careful. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. I miss your... If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. Yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. So many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Lovely day for a walk in the woods. Crispell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. I have to get my rose back. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. <sighs> that Marco is never home. He'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Hmm. Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbo. 
Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Oh, you're still here? Run along now. Secretary Lana told me to go check out the farms. I don't think she was serious about it, but it's still worth a shot. Why would someone do this? Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. Did you find your frog, Crispell? If not, you're welcome to look around here. What? <laughs> 
What's happening? Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. <gasps> what are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Pompous child, we have important business! Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child! Manners, you're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispel, um, sir? Crisbell has opened both crystals of time! Ridiculous! Impossible! Why, not even I've been able to... Yet, it has happened. No. No, no. No, there's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future! Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. I have 
haven't seen them since. Huh? You're still here? I don't understand. What's supposed to happen when I plant this seed? I guess I should do as I'm told. fruit tree to be specific but take care it will only grow if you care for it otherwise it will wither and die so if I do something in the present I can affect the future obviously has that not always been the case now however you have the ability to see these future possibilities so choose your actions accordingly I should use this to check up on mother superior and my sisters they'll be wondering where I've gone Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. I should get back to Mother Superior. She must be worried. Bell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Matthias? I miss your grandma, Chris. So many chores. Not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Oh. Crisbell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. What a lovely day. Hey, Chris, if you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? Yes, 
Quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless! Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine! Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. Those poor houses. Someone has to know how to fix this. Excuse me, Mrs. Miller. I think your house has a rot problem. Really? That's strange. The carpenter would have told me something about it. Maybe I'll go talk to him tomorrow. Maybe we should talk to him right now. Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No. No, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion, great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. <sighs> My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though... I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there were only so many hours in the day. Sorry. I've got to get back to work. She's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. This one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker! I saw it today! Some kids were playing with one! 
Sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm, it was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Glow fruit. There's the tree I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. Isabel. You did it! It's not much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. Her powers. I haven't seen... There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. 
Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you'd be happier. What is it, Crisbell? There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there is only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. How, oh, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Crispell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Hello, Crispell. Oh, sorry. I should go. No worries, dear. You're always welcome here. tonic and two houses to save how do i know what the right choice is chris bell what can i do for you dear sorry it's nothing if you think of anything let me know This will be the new face of the town! Bell, what can I do for you, dear? It's your shop. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about ash blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. That it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone. Crisbell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with! Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ashblight to Nareem the last time! We've gotta go! Crispell, wait! Are you seeing the smoke, Chris? This is so cool! Wait, you're not thinking of going there, are you? It 
can't be too late. It can't be. Crispell, get out of here. It's goblins. They've torched the fields. Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray that they're up to the task. He's right, Crispell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. Back again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now! Patience. You're a time mage. Try to act like one. Hmm. There's always the sword. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice. The strain would be too much! Enough! You asked for my help, Frog. The sword is the answer. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it! Very well. This should be interesting. <laughs> Just in time! Quickly, Crispell! The goblins! But Mother Superior, my friends, I have to protect them! Go. I'll look after them. Meet us at the cathedral. We'll be safe there. Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm. <laughs> They're trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills! With the sword enhancing your powers, you should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try! to be hello my name is tell me if we survive you know how to fight let us show him Christopher, by the way. Crispell. Two less of them. They're chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. 
And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them! I know, I know. I just want to play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy. Oh, <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. This isn't working! I'll hit them harder. Wait! Their shield is made of metal! Use your water skill, and I'll send them into the future! Got it! Wait, the future? It didn't work. We can't touch them! Not even a scratch? What's this? I feel stronger. <laughs> Big mistake! Don't let your guard down. I don't trust this. <laughs> Are you kidding? Time to have fun! We're missing something. I'll bring them back to the present. Hit them with your water! to open the future crystal. How clever! This again? Have it your way. Careful! They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares?
I'll kill them! Stupid little... We're leaving. Oh, why? But I want to... Enough. The Empress will want to hear of this. Go. Oh, fine. Monsters to Nareem? I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Everything I do is for the future of Nareem. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus, this was clearly set up by an unknown party. And on that topic, tell me, Crisbell. Where did you get that strange sword? Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareem? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Miss Lana, no! We were just trying to help! Enough! Guards, seize her and the shielded fellow! We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession. We have to go, now! To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. You made it! I knew you'd be able to wield that sword. Well done. And, as promised, your friends are all here. In fact, your mother's superior... Crispell, is that you? Thank the lady. Mother Superior, I'm so sorry. Oh, shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. The Empress won't stop with Nareem. The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe and far beyond our current capabilities. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Going? I can't leave! The orphanage! My family! No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. But Mother Superior, it's not just that. Matthias, tell them! Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl. I... fine. I'll go. But I'll return, I promise. You better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now, get moving. Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbell. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, oh great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl.